So, you are a React developer, or you want to be a React developer. Online you can find tons of great courses, and even the official documentation now is really impressive. But what if you want to do a step further? What if you want to learn some advanced concepts? Today I have the perfect resource for you. React 18 Design Patterns and Best Practices is a new book released recently. For sure this book will make you a better developer. In this video I will tell you my personal opinion, who I think should read it, and we will also take a look at the chapters together. First of all, who should read this book? I think this is the perfect resource if you already have a basic understanding of JavaScript or even React. Actually you can learn react just by using this book but to be honest that's just my personal preference i would like to have a course before and then learn all the advanced concepts thanks to the book for sure this is one of the best resources out there if you want to build solid foundations on the core concepts and even on some advanced topics also if you use react from here's now and you are stuck with one of the old versions inside the book you will find all the new features with concrete examples. Definitely a good way to update yourself. All right, now the next question will be, is it worth the price? I won't lie, I love technical books. For me, it is definitely worth it. Just stop the video, check the link in the description below, go on Amazon and buy it. Let's now jump into the book and take a look together at the 17 chapters. Taking your first steps with React. In this chapter you will learn some important basics and prerequisites. I really liked the explanation of the difference between imperative and declarative programming. Introducing TypeScript. Even if you are a seasoned developer who still works using just JavaScript, maybe it's time for you to give TypeScript a shot. Thanks to this chapter you will learn just in a couple of minutes the basics of TypeScript and for me it is definitely worth it. Cleaning up your code. You will learn JSX, how to use important tools like ESLint, Prettier and much more. Exploring popular composition patterns. Sometimes React offers us elegant solutions, but we are just not aware of them. If you are not using things like high order components or function as a child in the right place, you will end up with a complex React code which can be optimized a lot. Writing code for the browser. For me, the key takeaway of this chapter is a great explanation of refs use refhook and forward ref, making your components look beautiful. There are a lot of ways to style your components using React, but what is the best approach? Let's find it out. Anti-patterns to be avoided. This is a useful, even if short, list of anti-patterns. If you can think about other anti-patterns, please feel free to leave a comment in the comments below. React hooks. I saw with my eyes seasoned developers struggling with hooks. If you work with React, you will use them a lot so it's better to understand them deeply as soon as you can. React Router. Routing in React is managed through an external dependency called the React Router. Sometimes can look hard, but if you know how to do it, it's just a piece of cake. React 18, new features. This is the chapter that made the difference for me. Even if I'm using React all the day, I didn't use yet some of the best new features. Those features for me right now are essential. Managing data. A lot of developers misuse uh, React context and Redux. If you want to learn when and how use them, that's the perfect chapter for you. Server-side rendering. Do you think you can achieve server-side rendering only with Next.js? Well, I'm sorry, <laughs> you're wrong. In this chapter, you will find an example using Express and React. Understanding GraphQL with a real project. For me, this is the best chapter of the entire book. It's just a matter of personal preference, of course, but inside the chapter, you will learn how to create a boilerplate for a full stack application using, uh, of course, React, but also Express, GraphQL, and Postgres. It's probably the longest chapter and there are a lot of learning opportunities. Monorepo architecture. Sometimes while working on complex projects, we end up in having tens of repositories. A monorepo is the perfect tool to avoid that. The monorepo architecture is my favorite and I'm sure that once you try it, you will start using it in all your projects. Improving the performances of your application. When you start working on big projects and complex components, you will learn that performances are crucial for your application. If you're not used to concepts like uh, memoization and immutability, this chapter will make you a better developer. Testing and debugging. Wait, if you're not writing tests for your React app, you should start now, just take an old project you worked on, follow the chapter step by step and create as many tests as you can. Your production environment will say thanks. Deploying to production. This chapter is essentially a comprehensive tutorial on how to deploy your application on production and it also covers the main problems to avoid. The only weak point of this chapter, in my opinion, is that the author here is using DigitalOcean instead of one of the three major cloud providers. 
but this is just a matter of personal preference. Oh, has been a long journey, right? As I said before, I think this book is really worth reading it. But if you are a senior developer working with React all the day, or if you are just learning this awesome library. What I liked most is that there are a lot of useful examples near each concept. Personally, for me, this is really valuable. And you will also find the configuration for the common tools that you will use, like Webpack and ESLint. If you already read it, let me know your opinions in the comments below. I would love to hear some other feedback. If you are now learning React and JavaScript and you want to avoid all the mistakes that I made in the past, please take a look at this video.